There are certain kind of men elegant ladies never date. These are men that you must avoid on your dating or relationship journey so that you can truly live an elegant lifestyle. Hey family, welcome to another episode of Winnie's School of Elegance. Today's episode is strictly for the ladies, but if you're a guy watching and you want to find out the kind of guys that we elegant ladies will not be caught dating, so that you can decide whether or not you are that type of guy and improve and up your game then you better stick to the video and watch till the very end so that you know if you fall in any of the categories of guys that i'll be mentioning in today's episode if you haven't joined the channel now would be a very good time to click the subscribe button and the notification bell just right beside it so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload a new video on the channel. On this channel, we are all about leveling up and living the best version of our lives. So join us if that's what you are about. The first category of men that an elegant lady should never be caught dating is a man who isn't well-grounded or knowledgeable in this thing called life. This kind of man has no clue whatsoever what's happening in the different aspects of society, he has no clue what's happening in politics. He has no clue what's ha happening in the economy. He has no clue what family values are. He has no clue what it means to set goals. He has no moral values, no moral compass. He's just waking up and living life every day as life comes. He just has no direction, no aim, no objectives, nothing. He's, he's clueless as to anything happening in the world or even happening about his life. This kind of man is the man who doesn't really care about undertaking basic skills that can help him elevate his life. He feels every, every other person is responsible for life and he is not responsible for anything. So he doesn't undertake basic things that can help him elevate his life. And he's just existing every day, just existing. Doesn't care about getting information, doesn't care about anything. He's just existing. Ladies, this is a man that you should and must not be caught dating because what would happen is that that man will so bring you down on your level up journey that no matter the effort that you make to level up yourself, you find that you still remain at the bottom of the barrel. And that's not what you want for your life. You want a man who uplifts, who inspires, who helps you grow, who helps you, helps you build yourself and helps you elevate and become the best version of yourself. So never be caught dating a man who is not knowledgeable or well-grounded in the basics of life's level upness. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> the second category of men that my elegant ladies should never be caught dating are men who lack ambition. These men are okay with being average. They are okay with the barest minimum. They are okay with the status quo. They never aspire or perspire. <laughs> if there's anything like that. They never want to be more than what they are. They're just comfortable. They're just okay. They're relaxed. It's not okay for a man to never be ambitious or want more out of life because life always has more to offer you with every step of your journey. So if you find a man who is always just so laid back, who is just okay with just the barest minimum, with handouts, with not wanting to be more, achieve more, who only cares about maybe drinking with the boys, hanging out with the boys, watching football from morning till night, sun up to sundown, playing playing video games from sun up to sundown. You never find this man doing anything that helps his personal development or his mental development. Please stay far, far, far away from this kind of men because they will not help you on your level of journey. Attach yourself to a man who is very ambitious, who wants more out of life and is doing everything it takes to be the best version of himself. Those are the kind of men that my elegant ladies should be dating, okay? The third category of men that my elegant ladies should not be caught dating are men who flirt with other women, even in your presence. There are men who are just so thirsty. They're literally so freaking thirsty that whenever they see anything working in pants or whatever, they just literally would drool, like... Don't be caught with those kind of men. That's not okay. If you find a man who cannot control 
the way his eyes roams when he sees a woman, especially when he sees a woman who has big bum or big ass or who is sassy and nice. If he can't control his eyes or the way he looks or the way he flirts with these other women, you have no business being with that man. A man who flirts with another woman in your presence is obviously disrespectful to you. And you should not be found dating a man who disrespects you. So when a man is obviously flirting with another woman, and, and by the way, you definitely would know, when a man is flirting with another woman, you would definitely know. Even by the way he just looks at her and tries to communicate with her non-verbally, you would definitely know that he's flirting. If he does it in front of you, he actually highly disrespects you. If he does it behind you, it's also a thing to be very wary about. So men who flirt with other women in your presence and behind your back are men that you should definitely not go into a relationship with because that man obviously doesn't respect you. The next category of men that my elegant ladies should never be caught dating are men who never commit. These kind of men are men who literally never tell you where the relationship stands. With them, you are always questioning and doubting what's this relationship, what are we, how are we, they never commit. They always use words and phrases that make, that don't, that never shows commitments. So they're always like on the fence with you. It's never, okay, I'm dating you or I'm not dating you. They're just on the fence, stringing you along just so that they can satisfy whatever. So in most cases, these men aren't so sure of you. So they don't want to let you go. And at the same time, they want to keep you along just in case, um, just in case that you end up being whatever it is that satisfies them. Don't be a plaything for a man who is indecisive about what he wants out of life. It's either he's committing to you or he's not. If you are committed, you're committed. If you are not committed, you're not committed. And he has to let you know with exact words and of course backed with actions as well. So a man who never commits is a man you definitely should be running away from because with that kind of man, you are never sure where you are. And why do you want to waste your beautiful life, your pretty years over a man who is very indecisive? My dear sister, run, okay? The next category of men that you should not be caught dating as an elegant woman would be an inconsistent man. The man who is here today and he's nowhere to be found tomorrow. Today he's all lovey-dovey and sweet and amazing and nice. Tomorrow he's very irritable, like he's everything you do irritates him. Next tomorrow he's nowhere to be found. After four days, five days, six days, he picks up his phone again and he's all wanted to be lovey-dovey again. And then the roller coaster ride continues. No, no use to you, no value to you. So today he's of good use, tomorrow he's not there. When you want him here today, he's there. When you want him here tomorrow, he's not there. So these kind of men are very, very inconsistent and you should definitely avoid these kind of men on your elegance journey. These kind of men are like brothers or cousins to the previous category of men that I mentioned and you definitely don't want anyone using you as a tool for their whatever inconsistent attitude. So their inconsistency may be as, as a result of different factors. They may not really be into you like that. They may be very emotionally unintelligent. They don't know how to deal with their own personal, um, maybe a man who has like personal challenges or problems and doesn't know how to deal with it and, and just takes it out on you can be very prone to becoming very inconsistent in a relationship with you. And you definitely do not want a man who is inconsistent. You want a very consistent man every step of the way on your relationship journey. So please kick the inconsistent men's asses to the curb if you're dating one of them. Okay, dokie. <laughs> the next group of men that an elegant woman never dates would be the one who is Mr. Perfect. I like to call him the Mr. Perfect man. He believes that he's always right. He never makes a mistake. Every other person is wrong. He's the one who knows it all who has all the answers to the problems, if he's the one who has the best advice but never wants to take anybody's advice, he's Mr. Perfect in all his ways. He has the answers to all of life's problems, he has the solution to all of life's problems and doesn't think that he's above or rather considers himself above 
mistakes and errors. Please, my dear elegant ladies, run away from these kind of men because what they would do is they would blame you for every single thing that goes wrong in the relationship because they consider themselves perfect people who never make mistakes. You don't want that kind of mental or emotional abuse on your own elegance journey. So run away from this kind of men, okay? The next kind of men that you should not be caught dating, they're kind of related to the previous men that I just mentioned now. These men are the ones who never own up to their mistakes. They are too proud, they are too pompous to acknowledge when they have gone wrong. And even when it is so glaring that they are the ones that have made the mistakes or at fault, they never want to own up to it. They never want to apologize. They never want to try to make things, um, they never want to settle issues. They never just want to make things right because they never ever just want to own up to the fact that they are the ones who have made the mistakes. Like I said, they are related to the Mr. Perfect kind of men because in their minds, why would I bring myself down to say sorry? Like they're so freaking proud. These are the kind of men that definitely should not make it to your list of potential daters or potential boyfriends or potential husbands because trust me, they will put you through mental and emotional torture. They would always make you feel like you are wrong. They would always make you go 360 degrees in your head wondering what, in fact, at some point, eh, you will even start to think that you are the one who is wrong when it's glaring that they are the ones who are wrong because they never want to own up they never own up and in your mind you'll be like okay he's not owning up it's like he cannot see and even when you spell it out to him still he still doesn't admit stay away from such men okay the next category of men that you should never be caught dating as an elegant woman are abusive men this one goes without saying and sometimes you don't really discover an abusive man until you go into the relationship but guess what? The signs are always there, even from the very beginning of the relationship. So before you date anyone, be sure that you're doing your due diligence. Don't let your heart run before your head. Okay? Don't let your heart take the lead before your head, especially when you just met someone for the very first time. Don't be quick to let your feelings and your emotions get into the way of things. First of all, Apply and work and play on a neutral field. Assume that this guy is just your friend. Just assume that he's just your friend. And try it and try it sometime and see. When you first meet a person, I know you want to be loved, you want to be pampered, you want to be caressed and all of that. But for, when you first meet a person, for the first one, two, three months, don't say anything about relationship. Yes, he might be on you and say he wants to, um, he really likes you and wants to be in a relationship with you. Or hold it off and be this person's friend for at least two months. Be his friend for two months and just observe. Don't let your heart or emotions get into it. It might be easy because sometimes your abusive partner can, and a, a potentially abusive partner can come in in a man, manipulative way and tell you all the nice things that you want to hear, do all the nice things that you want him to do, and then you're blinded by all of that and you're not seeing his true character. But when, as an elegant woman, you are strong enough to hold off, just hold off, remove emotions, sentiments, remove your heart out of everything and just deal with him like a plain old person, a plain old human being, then you'll be able to see the signs because the signs are always there. So give yourself two months, at least two months to do your due diligence before you get into a relationship with any man. And any man who truly likes you and loves you will be patient enough for you to do whatever it is you want to do and he will not go anywhere. So don't be scared that you will lose him. You won't lose him. A man who truly wants to go the long haul with you will be, able, will be patient enough for you for whatever amount of time that you require to do whatever it is you want to do. And again, when you're doing your due diligence, don't go about telling him, oh, I want to do, do, do due diligence on you. That's not what I mean. Just say you still, you just want to be plain old friends for now you just let's just start out as friends and all and then do what you have to do so that you can tell if this man is an emotionally or mentally or physically or verbally abusive person 
and if you don't know anything about an abusive person or an abusive relationship i have videos on this channel i'll put the link in the description box down below where you can go and educate yourself on what an abusive relationship really is so that you know exactly what you're looking out for when you are doing your due diligence before you go into a relationship with a man okay the next category of men would be the men who are there only for the sex that's all they want you for anytime they call you or text you is mama can you come give me some no i'm not coming to give you nothing get out of my way no no you're not going yes i'm talking to you the next time he reaches out to you and is asking for sex tell him no you are not coming no i'm not coming no he never cares about anything else that concerns you. He doesn't care about your personal well-being. He doesn't care about your growth. He doesn't care about anything else. He's not asking you about your day. He's not asking you about how you're faring. He doesn't care about anything. The only thing he cares about is come and give me some. All he wants is sex. He sees you as sex. You come to visit him. All he wants to do is touch you, have sex with you. Run away from such men. Run away from such men. Your body is not a sex object for a man to satisfy his nonsense pleasures. If he wants to satisfy his pleasure, he should put a ring on it. That's the only right way he has a right to have sex with you. So run away from any man who is there just for the sex. And you will know them when you see them. They are always just very focused on your physical attributes. They are never concerned about what you have up here. A high value man would fall in love with your mind first before he falls in love with your body. Do you understand? A high value man will fall in love with your mind before he falls in love with your body. That's why you can find a man who is looking very well put together and his partner is one person who really doesn't match him physically. Trust me, that man doesn't love her because of her physical qualities. He loves her because of what she has up here. That's why sometimes they don't look good together physically, but trust me, they look good together mentally. So a man who is there for sex alone is not worthy of you, my elegant lady. So please run far, far, far away from him. Okay. The next type of man that you must avoid on your dating journey as an elegant woman would be the man who is overly controlling. Naturally, no human being should be controlled by anyone whatsoever. So when you find a man who is controlling, overly controlling, wants to know your every move, wants to know your every decision, he's going to choke you. Human beings thrive best when they are free. Freedom is what makes a person thrive. When a person is free to be themselves wholly and know that their partner would accept them wholly and fully as they are, that person will love their partners a lot better than when the partner is overly controlling. So a man who is overly controlling should not make it to your list of potential daters, potential boyfriends, or potential husbands. Throw them far, far away from you, okay? The next kind of man that you should not be caught dating as an elegant person is an emotionally unstable man. This man doesn't know how to deal with issues maturely. He's very emotionally unstable. I like to call them men who are emotionally unintelligent. When he's angry, everyone literally feels the anger. When he's angry at A, you are B, he's literally pointing the anger at you who has nothing to do with his anger. He doesn't know how to deal with issues maturely. You find that when an issue arises, instead of him to handle it like a man, when a man, a real man handles an issue, that issue should become less of an issue than more of an issue. So when an emotionally unstable man is handling an issue, you find that that issue escalates real quick. It goes 100, it goes south in two seconds. So any man who doesn't know how to, um, how to handle issues correctly should not be found on your radar because they would make a little tiny issue become such a big deal. Out of, sometimes it can be born out of insecurity. Some these men are highly insecure in themselves. These men are not grounded on what it means to be emotionally intelligent. They don't understand what it means to be a true, high value, mature human being. So you find that they are always throwing tantrums here and there. They're always making side comments here and there. Sometimes they go become very abusive if this thing is out of control. 
So never ever date an emotionally unstable man. And the only way that you would know if he's emotionally unstable is if you get information on what it means to be emotionally unstable or emotionally unintelligent. So go educate yourself on what, how to handle your emotions correctly. How to ensure that when you are upset, for example, you don't throw it out on anyone. So for example, someone has upset you, you're on your way to visit someone and someone has upset you on the road. Now, the person who has upset you on the road has probably affected your mood. We should not be so as an elegant person. But let's say per adventure, it affects your mood. You come into a place where people who did not do anything to offend you and then you're giving them an attitude. You're carrying your face. You're being rude and disrespectful to them. These are people who have nothing to do with whatever upsets you. You are an emotionally unintelligent and an unstable person. An emotionally intelligent person will get upset at A but will never take it out on B. That's one way that you can know if someone is emotionally unstable. Okay, so please stay far away from men who are emotionally unstable. They will do you no good. The next category of men that you must avoid on your elegance journey are the men who feel the need to take every matter to their family or friends. Everything that happens in your relationship, he has a way of taking it to family and friends and never even dealing with you. Like he doesn't deal with the issues with you. He would rather go tell his family, go tell his friends, and maybe try to get them to come talk to you or try to mediate. Run away from such a man. Run away from such a man. A man who goes to tell his family and friends every single thing about your relationship. The day you have sex, the position of your sex, what you said and during sex. He will tell the person how you didn't wash the plates right. He will go tell them, oh, this is how, what's you. Sometimes it can even go as far as bragging about um, the things that happen in the home, in the family. No, a man who talks cho 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 everywhere, says every single thing about your personal life or your personal relationship with him is a man that can never be trusted. Your relationship is an affair that should be kept between the both of you. So if you find a man who is going to, always going to say everything about your relationship to his family and friends, or sometimes even goes to loud it on social media, is a man that can never be trusted. Run away from him. The next category of men that I have here on my list are the men with no manners or gentleman skills. These are the men who are very, very crude in their ways. They have no manners whatsoever. They don't open the door. They don't hold the door for you to go through. They don't, they don't think it's their responsibility to open the car door for you to come out. He's the kind of man who literally would walk in front of you as you both are working. He's the kind of man who would not offer you his jacket when it's obviously very cold and you both are in public. He's the kind of man who is very loud in public, who doesn't mind adjusting his clothing in public. He's so freaking crude. He's the loudest, he's the most annoying of the bunch. He doesn't really care a thing about how he represents himself in public. These kind of men are the men who lack, who lack manners and who have no gentleman skills whatsoever. And you should not be caught dating that man as an elegant woman. Because as an elegant woman who is leveling up her life, you need to date a high value man who is well grounded in all of these things, who understands proper manners anywhere he goes, and who also understands the importance of being a gentleman with you. Because as a queen, you need a king who compliments you perfectly. Okay? The next kind of man that you must avoid as an elegant woman is the man who lacks compassion and kindness. That man who is insensitive to certain situations and certain things and who really doesn't understand how the women folk think. Sometimes because of lack of knowledge on women, a lot of men just, they, 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 they are like beasts, especially when they're treating their women. So when you, when you find a man who lacks compassion and who lacks how to be kind, who lacks the values of kindness, that man shouldn't make it on your list. The next category of men to avoid as an elegant woman, this is the second to the last one on my list. I like to call this ones <laughs> the mommy's boy. <laughs> These ones are overly spoiled 
and believes that it's his right, it is his birthright to be taken care of as a man. He believes that everybody must do everything for him and must, he, must, he can't do anything for himself. This one is the mommy's boy. Any small thing, my mommy, he's calling his mom. He probably talks to his mom like 10 million times a day. His mom is so invested in his life, even as an adult. And you can really tell by how he is in the house or even in public. He, everything must be done for him. He's very lackadaisical about life, very lazy, very immature. And his mom just has, he can't, he can't make it, he can't go a day without talking or making reference to his mom. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing for you as a man to show respect and make reference to your mom. But when you are doing it every single day, my mommy this, my, and then they always say my mommy. Don't do that. My mommy, my mommy, it's not my mom, it's my mom. What's my mommy? Are you a baby? So if you are not like their mom, and they're always judging you based off of how their mom is. So if you're not like their mom, if you don't do things like their mom, if you don't dress like their mom, if you don't talk like their mom, if you don't cook like their mom, they will keep judging you and keep stressing your life. Run away from such men. They've been with their mom so much that their mom is now like their idol. And if you don't meet up to that expectation of you being like his mom, he has a problem with it. I'll give you an example. I remember dating a guy sometime in the past. And so his mom is the kind of person who likes to shop, who likes to do all those girly things, go to the mall, spend hours and hours in the mall. Sometimes he even goes with his mom to, 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 to help her go around with her and shop and all. And just because he felt like his mom was about that life, he felt like I should be about that life too. So one day we went to the mall to buy something and I'd seen what I wanted. He saw some other things that he felt that would look good on me and brought them while I was changing, brought them to the changing room. And I'm like, I'm stressed. This thing is stressing me out. I don't want to try what, don't worry, I'll come back later. He took offense. And he's like, every other woman that I know made mention of his mom and his auntie. They like to change. They like to try on outfits. You are the one who, I'm like, I'm not your mom and I'm not your auntie. I am Winifred Mwanya. And I don't want to be here. I don't want to try on clothes. I'd rather be in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> And he took offense because I didn't do something like his mom would. So please run far, far away from mommy's boys, okay? They will do you no good and they will, they will stress your life. Don't allow somebody's son to stress you. Hmm? The final point that I have here on my list of men that an elegant or my elegant lady should never date are the man who never introduces you to his family members or his friends as his partner. So you see when you guys go out together and you're in public and he, he, he doesn't even introduce you at all. And even when he introduces you, he goes, maybe your name is Faith. He would go, meet Faith, Faith, meet Faith. Um, he, maybe he's, the person he's introducing you to is John. He goes, Faith, meet John, John, meet Faith. Okay, who is John, who is Faith? What is Faith to you? What is John? Do you get? He never ever introduces you. Sometimes he doesn't even like to take you around his friends and his family because, see, let me tell you something. A man who is proud of you will be so freaking proud to flaunt you around his family and friends. I'm telling you that for free. So if a man doesn't introduce you to his family members or friends, and even when he introduces you, he doesn't say you are his partner, or he doesn't give you a title that befits you, trust me, that man is not proud of you or he's not sure of you yet. So run far away from that man or have a sit down discussion and ask him what you guys are. And if he's the inconsistent man or the man who is very indecisive, like I mentioned before, then better run away from him, okay? Now, those are the category of guys on my list that my elegant ladies should not be caught dating. These guys are the guys that you definitely should run away from. And if you are a guy watching this and you find that you fall under one or two or more of these categories, it's time for you to level up and become a better version of yourselves because Elegant ladies, if you really truly want to have a high value, elegant woman as your partner, trust me, you will not find her. You would only be enjoying ladies from the bottom of the barrel who don't care a thing or two 
about what I have just mentioned. Okay, before we go, I want to remind you all, for those who don't know, I'm also a culinary expert and I have a second channel called Delicious Foods where I show people how to make mouth-watering and delicious recipes. And I recently just wrote a cookbook called Winnie's Sizzling Selections. This book has over 100 recipes that you can enjoy. And this book is the only book that you need to level up on your healthy eating journey. And it's also the book to help you figure out what to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on a daily basis. So click the link in the description box down below if you want to order a copy. It comes in the paperback and the hardback as well. So just click the link in the description box down below and get a copy for yourself and support the family, okay? All right, my elegant ladies and gentlemen, I will see you again in another episode. Until then, remember to stay elegant.